All right, so we got a little bit of a dude that doesn't really like to work right now. So we pretty much have an old Stanley pressure washer. This guy stopped working. So essentially when I plugged it in, it wouldn't reset, wouldn't press. Um, lights wouldn't go on. And so I opened it up. I tried fiddling around with it, but on the inside, there's really nothing that can be done. Um, and so I just went and bought a new one. So we're just gonna do that real quick. Essentially to take it off, you'll need a few simple tools. Um, you'll actually want a, uh, you'll actually want some somewhat of like a, uh, well for me, I use electrical because it's, uh, it's easier on the wrist. But one of the special things about taking it apart is that you'll actually want, so now that we have it, we have you know, our positive and our negative, which is negative, positive. So for a new guy, you can pull her out. And honestly, it's pretty much gonna be the exact same thing. So, Really simple, really easy replacement. All I'm gonna do is loosen up these guys a little bit. Insert my positive and my negative end in. Make sure that this baby lines up. Let's screw it down. And then set. So once it's in there, give it a few more turns easy and just screw it in I use the same one but uh you could uh, use it comes with screws so like if you lost your screws or something then like you could take that but you could just literally use the same thing that it came in so Sort of did. Never mind. Let's, uh, let's do this at the same time. So. This is mainly so it doesn't get pulled out. It's a bit of strain relief. Cover the new guy on, and we're pretty much almost ready to rock and roll. Let's see, so we have this guy, this guy, and some screws, this guy, and some screws. Doesn't really matter which one, we're just here to pretty much. Uh, Add them on. So I've had this pressure washer. Damn it. I've had this pressure washer for about uh, how long now? I've had this pressure washer for three years since uh, 2018, and it's been working perfectly fine. It's just that suddenly the uh, Decided to poop out. So, <laughs> yep. So we're pretty much done. Let's go, let's go find a plug for her. Let's see, let me find this guy over here. So, 
plug her in. So we can see, we can see that now the light goes on. And so when you take a look at this light, you should be able to reset, that should work, and testing, you should be able to turn off, and then resetting will turn it back on. So basically, it should be on, press test it, press reset, do not use if test fails. So that's how you replace it, real quick. And then to make sure it fully works, all right, we good to go.